Greetings, y'all. I'm going to give y'all just the books from yesterday, the Hoodoo Voodoo books. Remember, Voodoo, Voodoo is a closed practice, not for people that are not black. And also, Hoodoo is the open uh, practice, right? Voodoo was for religious leaders. So I'm going to give y'all those books again. So y'all may have them. And some moon magic books. Use at your discretion. Don't use this to do something to somebody. You get the protection part out of the book. Get the knowledge out of the book. Get the history out of the book. Because it explains the origin, where hoodoo and voodoo come from. So it explains where it comes from, right? The hoodoo voodoo by Mari Silva. And as I read to y'all, and I'm going to start off so nobody don't miss it. What is voodoo, right? Voodoo is the main difference. It said, what is voodoo? The main difference between hoodoo and voodoo is that voodoo is a religion. It has specific practice and religious leaders are required to undergo some form of ordination. So indoctrination, ordination, like theology school, like most of the make the teacher, the spiritual leaders go to the pastors and stuff. They do voodoo. Y'all just don't know it because y'all don't go to theology school or y'all not a pastor. That's why voodoo is closed. So that's sorcery. That's witchcraft. That's warlock. That's witches. All right. And it said specific religious leaders. So take it how y'all resonate with it. In hoodoo, there is no such formality and everyone is free to perform the rites and root work that form the magical aspect of the tradition. Remember, magic is outside, mysticism is inside, okay? So that's the difference between, and then there's the history of hoodoo right there on the same page. Hoodoo was a practice used by African slaves to, return, to retain their roots when they were transported to America as slaves. Hoodoo, folk magic, and incorporates incorporates the belief and system of ancient African culture alongside the Christianity Christianity that slave masters insisted were taught to their slaves. It is not a religion. Hoodoo is not a religion. It's a practice. Voodoo is the religion. Although it, it says it is not a religion, although it does have its own set of deities and gods you can worship or not, depending on your preferences. Several sources say that hoodoo is primarily an African-based system of protection and root work used to guard black people against their oppressors. So you use it to people that's trying to suppress you do stuff to you if you know who it is. You don't want to do this stuff on people you don't have no uh, no validation that they did it. No proof. That's what I'm looking for. No proof that they did it. So you don't do it on innocent people. And it is said to practice. And it is said to practice only by black people. Who do voodoo, right? So. It is said to practice only by black people, but over here, there is no specific formity. Anyone is free to practice it on hoodoo. So it's telling you how it started, you know, the history of it. More modern practitioners believe there are three different threads of hoodoo that encompass different ethnicities. There is a black thread of hoodoo for, black, for people with African heritage a white thread for European influences and a red thread for Native Americans. However, all humans need to be acknowledged and their differences celebrated for the rich tapestry of hoodoo to be seen in its entirety. Hoodoo is a personal practice and will be used in varying ways by different people. Cultural and theological influences will influence how the individual use the rituals and root work to protect or enrich their lives. 
It did not say nothing about harming somebody else. It said to protect and enrich your lives. Ancestor veneration is the core part of hoodoo. Ancestor veneration. Ancestor veneration. Look that up. And the work performed is often based on historical practices. There are no barriers to hoodoo. People may use it to cause harm or and mischief. So they're using it to harm, cause harm and mischief, but that's not the way it was done. So to each his own. And then when that shit come back to y'all, because people sending it back to you, then that's what you got to deal with when it hits your ass. What a good Lord spit you. All right. So, mo but most it is used to heal and protect. The work and rituals are influenced by certain material and talisman to signal the intention and needs of the person performing them. A knowledge of herbs and plants. See, that's Mother Nature going back to Gaia. Getting certain plants, getting certain herbs, getting certain flowers because they have powers. <laughs> Ooh, that rhymes. All right. Uh, chrysanthemums and all that stuff, right? When you dry those flowers out, you can use those things uh, in part of the hoodoo practice. They represent it essential because they represent the women. women. And the powers they represent is essential because when it is combined with other magical elements, it works in conjunction with them, right? And then y'all can get the book, of course, and read the rest because I'm not going to read it. I just want y'all to read the difference between hoodoo and voodoo because that's why you get books like this. You keep an open mind and just read so you can become aware of what people are doing to you because in here you will be able to see the holidays they celebrate just like, look at there, New Orleans, vo the Voodoo Twins, ha Haiti, and New Orleans. Right there. You read it for knowledge. You get to understand uh, why things are. They have a couple of, uh, to attract wealth and prosperity using Hoodoo. So, again, they got some certain stuff in here. Uh, hoodoo divination and stuff like that. So, they got ginger, hyssop, thyme, witch hazel, mugger, lavender, nutmeg, ganglia root, right? For the kitchen witches and all that stuff. And people, John the Conquer root right there. So they got different ones. They got removing jinx powder. You, you can learn how to make it. So this stuff, a lot of this stuff is to show y'all how to make it, not to use it against somebody, but to how to undo what you feel or you seeing somebody do to you. So that's why I'm giving it for your knowledge, for your to, so you can become aware of what they're doing. Because how can you how can you fight what they're doing if you don't know what they're doing? Because like I said, inside these books, they have ways to protect yourself. So that's what I'm trying to show y'all. Not more than just an egg cleanse or a spiritual bath, right? Ways to ways to con, uh, to cleanse yourself or to remove the stuff yourself but you got to trust and know for yourself too so that's maria got a, a lot of books Mar uh mari m-a-r-i silva she has a lot of these so i don't know how she infiltrated this i don't know what her hair her heritage is i see silva on there so it could be the latin part the latin america or whatever and you got the book of mediums this is some extra books i'm throwing in there alan kardec the guide for mediums and invocations so how to invoke these are these are uh, how to invoke. All right. So that's a very spiritual book. So if y'all iffy about it, don't touch it. Don't use it on nobody. You can return to sender. Do your candles like I told y'all earlier. You know, you got return to sender and you got their money reverse. So reverse candles are either black and red, red on the top, black on the bottom, or black on the top and red on the bottom. If you buy the seven day jar or you can buy. The black and the green, the green and the black, you know, candle, or you buy the triple action, which will be like this, red, black, and green. And that's a triple action, but double action is this, reverse candle, right? Double is two, triple is three. So you can buy them in these little, you can buy Hobby Lobby, 
any type of uh, Walmart, if they have them or whatever, they got these little taper candles, these little long ones. So that's how y'all can make stuff yourself at home. You just got to know what you know. Y'all just got to trust the high. That's 1010 on the clock. Y'all just got to trust in the most high. All right. Oh, my timer was 1010. So that, that book and the medium book. And you got Hoodoo for Beginners. So Hoodoo for Beginners. I don't know if this is backwards or not, but put them in your little, the little basket cart on Etsy, Amazon, or go to a bookstore. This is a collection of selected prayers for the for the spiritists, right? Some some very powerful prayers that y'all could, could that y'all could say. All right. Never mind the picture of the white man. Y'all you know, know how that shit go. There is some sigil, sigils. There, there's there are there she is again. No, that's Anna. Anna River did the uh I think she did the songs book. Yeah, she did the songs book. Let me get that while we out. She did this, all the spells, the rituals and the spells. This lady did this. Anna River. She did both of those. The magical powers of amulets, of protection, protection seagulls and stuff. You can draw or you can copy them and put them in your wallet. They got what they do down here. All right, to protect y'all. That's like that at 11.22 on the clock for somebody. And it's got all, because if you can't draw all of that, you can copy it and carry it or cut the Cut it out of the book, but then you're going to have to laminate it probably to keep it in good. And then the reason why you wouldn't want to cut it because there's the descriptions on the back. So it's best to just do a copy because you're going to be cutting out the something else that's important to you. Okay. That you might want to get later. So it's going to be hard to cut them out. You just need to copy them because you ain't going to be able to write all that stuff on there. So those are protective sigils. And she wrote this book where all the spells are at. The how you reverse stuff. You can do a lot with this one too. The power of the Psalms. That's David, right? So that's that tell you the Bible had nothing but spells and rituals in it. So I don't know why y'all acting like y'all don't know. You know, when y'all ask, no, it said voodoo, it said religious leaders. So y'all religious leaders are doing that stuff. So who who do justice magic when you want to get justice for somebody? That's Miss at A I D A Adia. So this is a lot, there's some books there and you got 365 days hoodoo. So there's spells and protection spells and teach y'all how to conjure, you know, uh, invoke or root work or mojo or whatever. And you got, this is the one y'all asked about yesterday, the witch's book of candle magic. All right. The witch's book of candle magic. That's what y'all, that, like I said, if you want to dress the candle with herbs and oils, and not just burn them like plain like this. Put your intention in everything you do. All right. You got hoodoo cleansing and protection. So this could be for spiritual baths, cleansing your floors, making washes and stuff like that. And showing y'all how to do negative energies in the home. Showing y'all how to re recognize a lot of stuff. So you got ble blessing oil, eucalyptus oil, holy oil, protection oil, and root oil. Right? And then you got some of the most easily attainable crystals utilized for protection include amber, amethyst, cat's eye, carnelian, jade, jet, lavenderite, obsidian, pyrite, smoky quartz, tiger eye, black tourmaline, and turquoise. I got every last one of them. So that, those are protection crystals. And then power, the protective power of amulets. Right? Different. It's got a lot of knowledge. This is to get y'all, like I said, I'm iterating again, and I will put this on my Patreon account. So, also, so y'all can go to my Patreon account and I, it'll be there. So, again, because YouTube like to fucking censor good stuff that we be having, but they want y'all to be dumbfounded and they want y'all to not know how to protect yourself against people doing this shit to y'all. So, I will also put this in my, in my uh, Patreon account. All right, you got magical oil, so that will go with the candles, hoodoo, prayer, and spell work. The use of magical oils, reversing, revenge, spirit guide, tongue tie, triple john, money last, money drawing. You want to pick the ones that's going to help you get what you're trying to achieve. You know, read the ones not to do harm, but to help yourself. Let You just remove what people are doing, but then do the one that brings the stuff in. 
So that's what you want to do. Unless you absolutely got proof that somebody's doing something, I wouldn't advise concocting your own oil blends right there. So for those that want to know how to, and I did a, a, a membership on that, but I didn't have this book on my membership. Uh, they even got follow me guy. Good Lord. They even got how to make a man follow you. Good luck. Hot foot is to get somebody to remove somebody from your home. It's hot foot that's made with cayenne pepper. Uh, again, yarrow. You got a lot of things. Sarsaparilla. What is this? What does this says? There's some. There's some. There's some more herbs in here. Let me get to the front and see what it named. These are named. It's talking about hoodoo right there in that paragraph. It tells you what they're used to. All spice berries, in addition to hoodoo, all spice berries are carried by those who want to bring in money from gambling, winning, and witchcraft. It is used in spells of healing, uh, determination, and energy to protect against evil eye. So all spice protects you against evil eye. So it helps teach you the herbs that y'all should have in y'all cabinet, but y'all don't be into herbs like that. So a lot of y'all just scared because y'all don't read. Ooh, attracting love, Archangel NL. Okay, Buddha, meditation, St. Joseph, Archangel Uriel, root chakra. See, now they got her as the root chakra when she's the crown chakra in these tarot cards. That's why I tell y'all you got to take shit with a grain of salt because people love to confuse y'all. They got sacral, sacral chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is the third chakra. That's the horn. That's blue. So you see how people, they kind of do what they say. That's why I tell y'all every, all this, you got to take all this shit with a grain of salt because you can go crazy trying to figure out what well, this book said this, this person said this, this per fuck all that shit, throw that shit out the window. Pick what resonate with you. Just like the angel numbers, just like the, the animal totems. When you're reading the many, many definitions, that's what you get from book to book. That just comes with the territory, y'all. There's nothing you can do about that. We got Chumel for solar plexus, but they got Joe Joe Pell or Joe Joe Pell, right? And then they got heart chakra. They did do that one right and put Raphael on there. But the other one, and they got Michael, Archangel Michael for the throat chakra. So see how some people they mix the lies with the truth. And I'm not really saying it's a lie, but it's just to let you know that. Everything is not going to be precise when you're divvying because you don't know how other people learned and who they learned from. So it's going to always be that that windshield wiper shit going back and forth, making you go back and forth and making you question. It's like confusion, right? It, that's all it is. It, healing, St. Lazarus, John the Baptist, good luck, St. Lawrence, happiness, St. Jude, hope and faith. Domination, St. Martha, Expedite, St. Expedite, Conquer. These are the, the saints and the oils. But like I said, if you deal with tarot, like I do, and different things, you won't get the same meaning. But I just know how to ignore a lot of the shit. So y'all y'all just got to use y'all discretion, what resonates with y'all. Take it. I'm just good at throwing out the bullshit, you know, because that's just how they throw us off. They want to keep us wishy-washy but once you find the curveball the lie you know how to maneuver around what they're trying to do okay so that's one and you got the mag ham hamadi that's the book even benny carson talked about that's got a lot that's like a bible a, a better version than y'all king james version so you can cross reference with this okay so that's a good one if y'all want to Try to cross-reference what they said. You need to get this one. And then cross-reference it with the King James or those new edition Bibles. All right? Mag Hamdi, Hamdi hum, hum, or something. I'm probably butchering it. Moonology, so you can learn the moon phases. And like I said, the most powerful moon is your own moon, your own energy, your own feeling. Because feeling is the secret. That moon don't have the feeling. You have the feeling. That's a mechanic. That's a machine moon. The collective moon, like new moon in Gemini, that's them controlling that machine, the tide, the waves, right? Everybody's energy. But when you tune into yourself, that's the true moon. That's the true essence because that's how you feel. All right. So pay attention to your feel. And you got some more 
Sacred Teachings and Knowledge by Mandy P. Hall. So that's a good one for some of y'all to look at different, uh, 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 the tree of classical mythology right there. So that's one book you can, that's, there's thought. That's my boy right there. Look at, open right up to it, right up to thought. Now look at there. You can't even, you can't even make that shit up. I open right up to thought, boy. I tell you, I know he like, yeah, here, here I am, you know, so I'm going to put that mark that there because I need to read that. So thought, uh, the Ibis. Remember I did that thing on the Ibis, the the bird? There it is right there. See how Spirit did? Confirmed it right there in that book, right? Because I haven't even got to this book mostly. But now that I got that, I'm going to bookmark it so I can know where to start at. So again, the moon magic, again, learning the moon phases, the waning, the gobulus, the crescent, right? The first quarter, the third quarter. And then y'all got another one, hoodoo. I think she got... It's another one. This is Hoodoo and Voodoo by Mari Shriver. This is Voodoo, and I believe it's one that just says Hoodoo. So it's kind of like she she put them together for you, and then she separated them for you. So there's another one to this I know, which is Hoodoo, not Voodoo, right? So that's so y'all can know the difference. And then the Hoodoo Bible that tells y'all, and this is where the graveyard spell was at. With all of them doing those graveyard spells, you know, and then there's a protection, protection reading. There's a lot of knowledge. There's crystals. All right. There's a lot of stuff. So, again, don't be doing shit y'all ain't got the power to do because there's protection spells right there. That's what I want y'all to get, the information. So you can stop asking, well, how do I protect myself? How do I cleanse myself? How do I give a bath? This is to let you know how to do it. Yeah, it looks spooky because they told y'all not to read it, but you got to just say, Spirit, I just want to get the information I know that I can help myself with so I can do my part, okay? What did I read today on Achilles? He said, when 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 man's e willing and eager, the gods will join in. So y'all got to be willing and eager to learn so the gods can come in, the gods will come in and assist you, right? Whatever God or God source or God deities you you know, whatever. You got to put in the work, though. All right? So this is just a hoodoo Bible. Herbs, root work, conjure oils, mojo bags, easy and advanced spells, candle magic, divination to get your mo mojo working. Mama Marie. So this was done by Mama, Mama Marie. This is stuff that's already out there. Y'all just been too spooked to get it. It even got spreads in there for tarot. So if tarot wasn't a part of it, Tarot wouldn't have been in it. So for all y'all that's saying tarot this, there's Marie, uh, Molly, the curse of Marie right there in New Orleans. The, you know, so again, everybody's heard about uh, Marie, I forget, uh, Laveau, Laveau, L-A-V-E-A-U. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. So excuse me if I am. And then keep, in, keep your man down spell. This is what a lot of women doing to men. This is the, a lot of men are under spell and a lot of women are under spells because people are taking this information and doing the wrong thing with it. Instead of getting out how to protect and draw love to them, they're trying to hold down somebody that's not meant for them. So that's why y'all need to know how to undo what people are doing. When you sense somebody fucking with your love life, when you sense somebody fucking with your money, when you sense somebody fucking with your family, that's when you want to get some shit, not to keep somebody. Cause if you, Doing something to keep somebody, you're going to have to keep doing it to keep them until the time run out. Until spirits say, okay, enough is enough. This spell has to expire. They can't do another one. They have to leave you alone. Nobody that they can get can do nothing because one person already did it. You're not going to spend your whole life under a spell, okay? That's not going to happen because everything in the physical 3D has an expiration date. So that means they got a certain amount of time, a window to do shit. Once that window closes, it closes on everybody. That person is non-touchable. That's a free spirit. That's a sovereign being. Nothing can come near that person. So God forbid if y'all are some of the ones that's doing these spells because y'all got a lot to come back and, and to make atones and amends for because y'all been doing this shit to innocent people. Look at their foot track magic people trying to track you follow you get rid of your haters your hateful husband oh shit oops 
That somebody might need that one. Twenty four fifty four. Damn. This is some. This is some shit. Now this get rid. Of, this get hold to. Ooh, if this get hold to some real powerful women that know thyself and men that know thyself. Yeah, this this could be yeah. Yeah, this look graveyard spell, and I opened it up yesterday and came right to it again. How to collect graveyard spell, and but some of y'all are not privy to be in a graveyard. That's the thing. Y'all not in there for the right reason, and y'all in there to protect, to to harm the innocent, which is why that curse go back on y'all. So a lot of people don't have the approval to go in the graveyard. It doesn't even matter if you're visiting somebody dead. You have no. You have no permission to take the dirt out of there. So it's more to you just, oh, I'm going to go see somebody dead and I'm just going to get, you know, while I'm in there, scoop up some dirt and go out. No, the fuck you're not. That's how y'all fucking y'all self up and y'all thinking people doing something to y'all. But it's because you didn't respect the sacred place of the dead. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Come on now, which is, which is, which is guard the graveyard. Which is guard the graveyard. You got to have permission to go in there and dig anything out that motherfucking graveyard, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. It don't matter if that's your somebody in your family graveyard or it's another just graveyard in your neighborhood. You still got to have permission because those are spirits. Those are people's ancestors. You can't just go in there and, and just topple over a goddamn graveyard and think ain't shit finna come back on your ass. How to choose the spirit. How to choose the grave, how to pay the spirit, how to dig the dirt. It's telling y'all how to do it. Bury spells in a graveyard. But like I said, you can't put this on somebody that's innocent. Because when you put this on somebody that's innocent, it's going to come back to you. And that's what a lot of people are getting it now. Dropping dead for no reason or whatever they did because they had somebody do graveyard spells. And who initiated it? The person that's paying for the service initiated it. Yeah, a diviner may have done it or some witch, whatever, may have done it. But y'all paid for it. You you reached out and called them. You told them that's what you want. Or they took it upon themselves to do it to somebody innocent because they don't like somebody. So use this stuff wisely to cross an enemy. Look at this boy. Look, the whole world finna be blind in a minute. The hex, the conjure, the 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 hex conjure, bag coffin spell, foot track spell, banish the an equalizer spell, spells that use graveyard dirt. So yeah, y'all got it, but you better use it with caution. Look, and you better not use it against somebody that's innocent too, because you're gonna mess around and you're gonna be in a buried yourself, trying to bury somebody else. It don't matter who you get, because spirit know and that diviner, if they're a real diviner. They're going to know that that person is innocent. There's another spread right there of tarot. So if tarot wasn't part of hoodoo, the Bible, and this is not a part of Christian shit, then y'all y'all been misled. Y'all been misled. There's the world card right there. Y'all been misled. Y'all been lied to 28, 28 on the clock and misled. Divination by Jack Ball or Pendulum. So this even show you the Pendulum. This is the pendulum, so you can get whatever one of your choice to know how to read the pendulum, right? And that's what it looks like. And you ask, they tell you in different ways how to read it. You got to definitely go with what it means to you. What's your yes? What's your no? You know, things like that. And then you got to look at how fast it spins or how slow it spins or if it starts dipping like this. Because some questions, it'll start. It'll start dipping like this. So you got to know what it means to you, right? And then some of y'all can get the little yes or no mat like this. If you just don't know for sure, you know how to read it. You got the yes or no. Man, I got another one back here. I used to do y'all yes or no questions with this. And then you got the board. So you got this one. That's a hard board. And you got the cloth. And you use the pendulum and ask it questions and it'll tell you. So you can do divination like that for quick yes or no answers that you just need something right away. All right. That's up to y'all. But I'm telling y'all, I wouldn't do stuff. Uh oh, that black, that black salt. I wouldn't do stuff that y'all not meant to do. Because if y'all not 
in something or you're not initiated or you don't have no spiritual authority or you don't have the protection of your ancestors, I would not be playing with this shit. And that's what a lot of people are doing. And then a lot of people getting initiations and these young witches, because that's in my cards, uh, warlock in training, witch in training. That's why I put it in here because it's letting y'all know whoever fucking with y'all is somebody that is trying to get initiated into something. And they just picking whoever that witch or whoever that person is, they picking somebody for whatever reason, but they don't realize they fucking themselves up picking with a diviner, picking with another spiritual person is what I'm saying. Somebody that's in, in, in their own lane, doing their own thing. All right. So that's how you would do that. Who do Bible? All right. So cold reading and all that, all that good stuff. So be careful, simple love dressing to communicate with spirits. You know, be better be careful because you got different type of spirits. Tell me the truth dressing. So there's a lot of stuff people can, peaceful home spell. You want stuff like that, peaceful home spell. Sweetness spell. You want stuff to be sweet, right? Come to you in a good, positive way. Improving a relationship that's on the rocks, maybe a bad uh, marriage or something. You want the good ones if you're going to attract and love spell. Now, this is what you want to do. Not call somebody else's person to you, but attract love in general and be open to what love comes. Not trying to put it on somebody that belongs to somebody else or put it on somebody that do not like you. That's what, that's what I was trying to tell y'all. Bring back an old lover? Nah. Nope. Never mind. You don't even know where that lover been, boo. Nah, let the bat, let the let the dead bury the dead. Let the past stay in the past. There are some oils, carrier oils they they use for the oils, and I've showed y'all that too. I think in the membership, you got grapeseed oil, Jehovah oil, olive oil, sweet almond oil, and sunflower oil, mineral oil, and tropical oils. So it show you how to make your little your little oils. I forgot what I made right here. This was either money or. I don't know what that was. I should have labeled it now and I forgot. But I'm pretty sure it'll work. <laughs> uh, it's something, but I just don't know what it is. Because I didn't label it. I forgot to label it. Uh, but I was showing y'all on, on the uh, membership, on my YouTube membership. Go out in the browser and come back in and you should see how to join my membership. That's how you join my membership on YouTube. That the, You can get the videos that I already got. Uh, Magic broom good luck and prosperity uh spells so that's like the witch's broom how to get it to bring in positive energy to your uh home red fast luck oil all right so there you go that's just a seven in one root doctor's companion to black folk magic all right hoodoo bible so those are some I just want to share y'all, share with y'all so y'all can have those. Do what you will. That's your discretion. Don't use it to harm nobody, as I've always said and will continue to say. Use it for the good, for your own empowerment, not to do harm to somebody. Use it to uplift your families with or your condition that you with or to help you aid in healing. Don't do harm with this. Don't harm another human being with it. Now, what y'all take and do with it after that, that's going to be on y'all. That's going to be on y'all. So, there it is. And I'll have it on my Patreon as well. I will have it in the membership for y'all. Uh, for those, case Facebook, uh, not Facebook. Well, in case some of y'all on Facebook can't find it, yeah. But... That's will be that. Thank y'all. Peace, love, and harmony. Hotel. Namaste.